Welcome back everyone to Nightmare Culture. Welcome to my nightmare. Today's video is going to be pinning the two iconic killers against each other, Michael Myers versus Jason Voorhees. Now it actually kind of took me a little bit to figure out how I was going to do this video. Did I want to do it versus like an actual battle? Uh, Jason's kind of always going to take the dub on that one just because he's immortal. So I thought, why not instead kind of pin them up on who's the best slasher? So we have here two of the horror's most iconic slashers. One wears a hockey mask. The other wears a William Shatner mask that's definitely seen some better days. But when it comes to the ultimate showdown, who would win? And who is the better slasher? Today we're diving into the terrifying world of Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees. Trust me, this is not your typical horror debate. So we'll start with Michael Myers. This guy is pure evil. What was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. The shape is what many have called him, especially if you play Dead by Daylight. But he's also a bit of a confused slasher. One minute he's Laurie Strode's brother, the next we're told, nah, never mind, you're just some random psycho. It's like the guys have an identity crisis. But what does stay the same is that blank, creepy Shatner mask. It's like Captain Kirk on a very dark, disturbing voyage. But now let's talk about Jason, the guy with a backstory so tragic, you almost want to root for him. I feel bad for the guy. Almost. Poor Jason drowned at a summer camp because the counselors were just too busy doing, well, they just were not paying attention. So what does he do? Comes back as the ultimate revenge machine. And oh yeah, he's basically unkillable. Unless you're watching part four where he dies. But part six, he comes back to life as a zombie. I don't know, who's keeping track anymore? The dude is like the energizer bunny of slashers. He just keeps going. It's a joke. Are you sure? So basically, who would win in a fight? On one hand, you've got Michael. Pure evil, relentless, but also, let's face it, he's human. Yes, you can technically kill him. Not that anyone has ever seemed to succeed. But the possibility is always there. Then there's Jason, who literally gets struck by lightning and comes back to life. The guy's practically a walking death machine. And if we're being honest... Jason loses the mask. He's still terrifying. Michael, on the other hand, loses the Shatner mask, and you're just staring at another dude. Not nearly as intimidating, right? Jason's hockey mask is classic. Even if you're not a horror fan, you know that mask. It's like the logo for all things horror. Michael's mask? Well, it's William Shatner. Just not the way you want to remember Captain Kirk. It's still creepy, don't get me wrong. But imagine explaining that to someone. Yeah, the most terrifying killer in horror is actually just William Shatner having a bad hair day. All kidding aside, that is still a pretty freaky mask. If we're talking sheer fear factor, it's a close call. But personally, I've got to go with Jason Voorhees. His backstory is rooted in trauma, which oddly makes you feel... A bit of empathy for him. It's like he's a cautionary tell. Don't be a neglectful camp counselor or you'll end up in the wrong end of a machete. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Michael, he's terrifying for sure, but he's also just pure evil without much depth. And the fact that Jason's basically unstoppable after part six, yeah, that's hard to beat. Sorry, Michael, but even with all your weird family drama, Jason's taken home the horror crown, at least for me. So who's your pick? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like videos like this and want to see more, let me know that in the comments below as well. But most importantly, if you like this video, like it. And subscribe for more horror showdowns.